Jeff Reddy here from Fantasy Springs with my tip of the week. This week I'm going to take a classic French dish, Coquille Saint-Jacques, and add a twist of my own. Get a good quality heavy bottom sauce pot on the stove. About four tablespoons of butter, unsalted. Now we're going to create a, a classic roux by adding all-purpose flour to that. Let's blend that together well. Now that our roux is simmered for a little while, you make sure the flour is cooked. We're going to add about a cup and a half of homemade seafood broth. You'll see that start to grab right away. It's going to try to thicken that. We're going to add a little at a time. It's kind of getting thick and bubbly. So we're going to start adding one cup of heavy cream, about half a teaspoon of Old Bay spice, a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, and some fresh ground black pepper. Take the sauce off the heat, put that aside, and keep it warm while we work on the rest of the ingredients. Good two tablespoons of butter and a good nonstick skillet. Three tablespoons of minced shallots. I think I have about 15 cremini mushrooms here that are sliced up. Now the mushrooms and shallots are starting to cook down nice. We're going to take a little cognac. Little salt, little pepper. Take a bowl, put about eight ounces of grated Gruyere, about a cup panko breadcrumbs, about a quarter cup of chopped Thai flat leaf parsley, a little olive oil, maybe a tablespoon and a half, a tiny bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. This is going to be for the crust. Now let's get our base sauce back on the stove. Let's add all those beautiful sauteed mushrooms that we flambéed with the cognac. I'm going to add about a pound of scallops, one pound of Florida rock shrimp. Add a little bit of parsley. So normally the classic Coquille Saint-Jacques is made only with base scallops. My twist is to add some nice shrimp to that as well. Now I'm going to broil my Coquille Saint-Jacques in a scallop shell. Put a decent amount in these beautiful shells. Make sure you get some of that sauce in there. We want to add some of that, that Gruyere cheese crust to the top. And now these are going to go under the broiler for a few minutes till they're bubbly and golden brown on top. And there you have it, my version of the classic Coquille Saint-Jacques. I'm Chef Freddy from Fantasy Springs, and I'll see you next time. Forget about it.